Hey there. Do you feel like your wife always criticizes you? Or maybe you always criticize her? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of Foundations Coaching and the Hero Husband Project. And criticism is tough. It feels like an attack. It feels incomplete and it feels frustrating. So if you are ready to jump in and figure out how to handle it and do things differently, then I invite you to get in touch immediately, send me an email, direct message me, or put a comment down below and schedule your free discovery session. But if you want to learn more about uh, criticism, hang in there. So criticism is the first of John Gottman's Four Horsemen of Communication. Now, John Gottman is a big guru in the marriage and relationship field. He's been doing research, yes, research, for 40 years, and he has claimed with some justification that he can watch a couple interact for 15 minutes and predict with a pretty high certainty whether or not they're going to end up divorced. And he does this by watching how they communicate with each other. And as I said, criticism is one of the things that he keeps an eye out for. And criticism is an expression of disapproval that's based on personal beliefs and perceptions. It doesn't necessarily mean it's completely accurate. And so this is also a problem when your wife is saying that you never do this or you always do that. Um, those are perceptions. And if you get caught up in trying to counteract those perceptions, while it's understandable, you're going to be heading down the wrong road. Now, a friend of mine, he writes a blog called um, Must Be This Tall to Ride. His name is Matt. And he claimed, it's how I met him, because he claimed in a blog that the reason why he got divorced was because he didn't, because he left dishes in the sink and his jeans on the floor. Now, I'm going to tell you, as I've told him, that is not the reason why he got divorced. Now, that would, that's what his wife was criticizing him for, but that's not what was all that was going on. Because criticism is actually, um, it's, it's actually a function of not being seen or heard. And if you go right after the criticism, you're going to be missing the forest for the trees. You're going to be focusing on the wrong thing. And I realize that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but hang with me. Okay. So when Matt's wife was complaining about the dishes in the sink, yeah, she didn't like the dishes in the sink, but that's not enough to get divorced over, which is where Matt went, right? He was like, well, it's not that big of a deal. But what it was, was her not feeling heard by him that, that it was a problem for her. And so when somebody is making criticism, they don't feel seen or heard, they are going to try to find something that makes sense, something that they can hang it on. Because by the way, what would you do if your wife said to you, I don't feel seen or heard by you? Let's take a moment. How many of you would try to, instead of really listening to her and maybe trying to get a better understanding of what she meant, would start listing all of the ways why what she just said isn't true. And that's what gets you into trouble. So if you want to do it differently, here's what you've got to do. Now, first off, criticisms and complaints are easy. They are um, it's easy to identify what it is we don't want. The harder part is to make a request for what you actually do want. Okay. 
And so when your wife lay, you know, lays a criticism on you, first thing you do, pause. Second thing you do, breathe, and then ask a question, okay? Ask, okay, honey, I hear that you don't like the dishes in the sink. What would make it better? What is the thing that is desired, okay? Now, here's the deal. You don't necessarily have to do what she's asking you to do, although if it's a reasonable request, my rule of thumb is if you can do it, it's good relationship skills to do it. But mostly it will make her feel heard by you, which is a really critical thing. Now, if she has a whole long list of things that you that she criticizes you about, some of those are not about you. And it's important to know the difference. She still needs to feel heard, right? And by the way, hearing somebody does not mean that you agree with them. It just means that you've listened. So what you want to do is take in what is yours, right? Do you leave the dishes in the sink? Do you leave the wet towels on the floor? Are there things that are going on that maybe there's some behavior changes that you can do that will limit that will that will limit the tension between the two of you? Okay? So if there is some truth to it, take it in right? Because there's all kinds of assumptions, presumptions, perceptions, beliefs going on, right? And being able to understand what those are is what's going to make your marriage better. Now, I get that this isn't fair, right? And the people who know me, I live near Raleigh in North Carolina, and fair to me is the thing that happens most Octobers on Hillsborough Street. Fair is not, if, if you try to make your relationship fair, it's going to end up in the toilet. The question is, what is possible to make it better? And please note, I'm not talking about making your wife happy. I'm talking about making your relationship better. And you know, some of this requires listening and and seeing if there's some things that can be done. And that's why turning this, asking her, what is it that would, would make the situation better is having her get clarity, not about just what she doesn't like, but what would actually make a positive difference so you're not left shooting blind, right? The other thing is that, as I said before, if there are things that you could be doing better, then why not do them? Um, you know, the towels don't just magically get picked up off the bathroom floor. And I'm going to tell you, if she's picking up after you, what she's going to do is feel like your mother, not your wife. And most of the guys I know don't want to be sleeping with their moms. So it changes her perspective. It doesn't mean that all of her criticisms are valid, but if you are open to addressing the ones that are, it puts you in a better position to actually make some headway on, on the things that aren't. So if you wanna learn more, if you want to actually have better communication, less tension, and stop feeling criticized all the time, then please get in touch with me and schedule your discovery session so we can talk about how to get you out of the doghouse and how to get you to have the marriage that you really want. So you can leave me a, a comment down below. You can direct message me or you can send me an email at leslie, L-E-S-L-I, at foundationscoachingnc.com. That's F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N-S. N is in Nancy, C is in Charlie.com. 
And until next week, stay loving.